Hi, I'm Ivan from Webwash, and in this video, I want to show you how to use a filter in views called, now wait for it, this is a mouthful, Combine Fields Filter. I've said it about 10 times doing this intro, and it's getting too much in my head. Anyway, this filter allows you to search across multiple fields using a single filter. Now, just recently, I was looking at all of the default views that come with Drupal 8 Core. Because in Drupal 7 and below, Views was a contrib module. Then during the Drupal 8 development cycle, they realized, hey, let's just put the most installed module in Drupal Core. And so now it's part of Drupal Core. And I was looking at all of the default views, the one that controls the content page, so the admin content, how that one was configured, and the people page, you know, the one that lists out all of the user accounts. And I noticed that on the people page, it's using a filter called Combine Fields filter, which is letting you search by username or email using a single filter. Because normally, if you want to allow admins to filter by username or email, you'll just create a separate filter for each field, a username filter and an email filter. But in this case, there is only one filter called username or email or username and email, I don't remember, and you can search across both fields. So in this video, I want to show you how to use this filter. So here is my Drupal 8 website. Now, I've installed Drupal using the standard installation profile, which I say in pretty much all of my videos, but I've also gone ahead and created a content type called car, just to demonstrate the combined fields filter. Instead of just showing you how it's built on the people page, I want to actually implement it on a custom view. So if I go into structure, content types, you'll see that there's a content type called car. And then I've got two text fields called car make and car model. Well, that should actually be model there, but it's just mod. Anyway, now, if you were to implement this type of content type in the real world, you would want to manage the make and model using simple hierarchical select or one of those modules that allows you to filter down um, from make. So if you were to select if you were to select Toyota, for example, it will show you all the models for Toyota. If you, were, if you were to select Subaru, it will show you all the models for Subaru. But for this example, I've just created these basic fields. And what I've done is if, if you go into content and then cars, I've created a view which simply lists out all of the, all of the cars in a table format. And it's accessible from the admin page. So admin content views. Uh, admin content cars, and that's it. Pretty basic, pretty simple setup. So the first thing we'll do is let's imagine our client has this page where they can manage all of their cars. And one of the first things they wanna do is filter by make and model. So if we go in here and edit the view, we can do two things. We can create a separate filter for make and model. So let's just do that now. Let's just put in car make, and let's expose it. So it's so it's an exposed filter. And from the operator, select contains. And then here under make, if we search for Toyota, it lists out Toyota. If you search for Subaru, lists out Subaru makes. And if you search for Ford, it lists out Ford. Okay, fine, simple. Okay. Now, if you want to search for, go under add, search for model and then add the criteria. Again, expose this filter to, vis to visitors, select contains, and then click on apply. And then you get this nice little car model here. And if I search for, what is it, Ford Focus, you get the Ford Focus. Okay, simple. But what if you only wanna have one filter here? Instead of car make and car model, what if you wanna have a filter called search, make, or model. And this is where combined field filters comes to play. So let's first uh, remove these, this make and model, and then click on add next to filter criteria. And let's search for combine. Now this will be under the global category and then click on add and then expose this filter to visitors so they can actually select it. 
and the operator should be contains. And then down here, choose fields to combine for filtering. This is where you specify which fields you want to combine. So let's select car make car model and click on apply. And then now we have this combine fields filter. Let's change that label. I'm, I'm sick of saying that name. <laughs> um, let's search, let's just put in make or model. And now if we search for focus, we get the focus. If we search for Subaru, we get the Subaru. If we search for, what is it, an Outback, it's another Subaru, we get, uh, we get an Outback. If we search for Camry, we get a make, oh, sorry, we get the model. And if we search for Toyota, we get Toyota, which is pretty cool. Now, when I discovered this filter, the first thing I wanted to see is what type of SQL is actually getting generated? Because remember, Views is just a glorified SQL builder. Um, that's the way I... I explain to people because you first select your entity that, that you want to search, the entity bundle, and then you can sort the filtering, you can sort out the sort. And so really it's just an SQL, build, SQL builder. So if we scroll up in the query section, now if you can't see this query because, because it is off by default, just go into structure, views, settings, and then make sure you have show the SQL query, and then you can select if you want it to be displayed above or below the preview. I like it above, but it's up to you. And and this checkbox is off by default. So if you so if you don't see any queries here, make sure you've you've checked this. And if you have a look here, you can see where the magic happens. Right there. So it's actually doing the uh, concat, so you must be concatenating the fields together and then just searching across them, okay? So that is a basic, very, very basic example on how to do this. Now, I know I'm gonna get comments asking for more advanced use cases. Now, if you have more advanced use cases such as keyword searching or you wanna search across all sorts of fields, then you may wanna look at using Search API because Search API hooks into views. And so you could um, set up a view which, which, which is using the search, search API index data to return values. And that's gonna give you way more flexibility. But you need to set up search API, which isn't a simple thing. And you may have to set up Solar or Elasticsearch, even if I'm not sure if Elasticsearch is even integrated with search API yet. But this, this, this filter is a simple, easy to use filter for basic filtering. If you wanna do anything more advanced, then look at something else, such as Search API, because Search API gives you way more out of the box, but again, you have to spend a lot of time configuring. Now, the one caveat I will cover is that this doesn't work if you wanna search across taxonomy fields, okay? And I'll show you why. So, what I, what I ended up doing when I was testing out this video is I initially created two vocabularies called make and model, okay? Because this is how I would do it on a proper site. And so if you look on make, you'll see the makes there. And then if you um, look on model, you'll see the models there, okay? And if we go into content types, cars, and let's just add in one of the... Um, taxonomy terms as a field. So let's just call this make. And then I'll select that, yep. And then let's scroll down and select make and click on save settings. Okay, now if we go into one of our cars, so car six, and then this is the Toyota Corolla and let's just select Toyota and then click on save. Okay. Awesome. So now what we'll do is let's go back into our views and then go edit. And then if we change these combined filters, oh, let's add the field in. Uh, what is this make? Uh, 
And then you can see the make at the end. Okay, awesome. So let's go back into these combined filters. And let's just select this make just so that we, we, can, we only see the one because it's going to make sense. And so if I was to search for Toyota, oh, let me spell that properly. And you'll see that it's searching on this target ID and it's looking for a keyword Toyota in this column, field make target ID. But remember, the taxonomy field is an entity reference field. So it's not storing the name Toyota. Instead, it's storing the term ID and it's referencing that term. So this will never work. Even though Views allows you to select it, it won't work unless we were to, the only way it'll work is, and let me test this out because I haven't tested this out exactly. I'm just looking at the term ID and that's number two. So if we search for two, which is the term ID, okay, that works. But of course, that's a terrible user experience. No one's gonna remember the IDs. And if we have a look in the database, now, apologies if this is too small, but SQL Pro doesn't increase in size, which is annoying. But if we have a look here and search for, what is it, make, and then you have, so this one is the, is the text field, and, and uh, you can see that the make is actually stored in the value column as Ford, Subaru, Toyota, Ford, whatever. But if you look at this field make, which is the taxonomy field, it's just storing the number two, which is the entity ID for that term. So, so the filter is very basic. It just searches the value in the main column, whereas here it's two, but in these ones, it's, it's the actual make. So that's a bit of a heads up, even though, let's go back here, even though views will allow you to search across all of these fields, including this one, it may not work the way you expect it to work. It technically works because if you were to put in the target ID, which is the, uh, which is the term ID, it will work, but it's not gonna work as simply as just putting in a make or a model and just work out of the box. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Of course, I have to say that. That's what every YouTube video pretty much says. And head over to webwash.net where you can learn more about Drupal. Anyway, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.